Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I am Baron. So let's take a look at our characters. Rakaldorian still is a level 4. Knight of the Rose, she doesn't have enough experience to do anything right now. Brandy Spears is still a level 6 fighter. But Sylvia Saint now is a level 6 Magia Cleric with 70 hit points. Nothing changed with Sarah Whites, but Genevieve Jolie now is a level 6 Red Mage with 36 hit points. Yeah, the point actually is that Red and White Mages level up differently. Apparently a White Mage needs more experience than a Red Mage to go to the 6th level. And last but not least, Kobitai, our Kandor, is now a level 5 Mishakal Cleric and a level 6 Thief. That's not too shabby if you ask me. So let's begin adventuring. And in the last uh, video, um, Sir Carl told us something about the tomb of Sir Dargard. Let's try that. You are near an ancient tomb. Do you enter? Yes. You have descended into a dark tomb complex. Mist curls around your feet. Okay, at least that works. Good, good, good. Um, so let's go to the east first. A voice whispers from nowhere. You have entered the test of fear. A worthy knight is ever brave, even at the risk of his own life. Or her own life, since we only have a female knight. Uh... I don't mean, it's not like only like a female knight is worth less than a male knight. A translucent shape forms in front of you and speaks. To pass through this area, a knight must step through the ring of fire. Rekel Dorian is our knight and she is valorous. A ring of fire appears before you. Do you go in? Yes. Rekel Dorian will go through. Rekel Dorian is hit for 36 points of damage. Damn you. You're not nice to my knight. I don't appreciate that. The tread of heavy feet sounds behind you, but nothing approaches. Hmm, okay, what do we do now? We move on. <coughs> a knight, no, a ring of fire appears before you. Do you go in? Yes. Rackle Dorian is hit for 33 points of damage. Shit! The walls seem closer here. The air is more stagnant. Voices wail from the ceiling. Death is better than fearing death. Well, you can always get resurrected. If you're not an elf. A ring of fire appears before you. Do you go in? Yes. Rekel will go in. You feel healed. The fire disappears. The voice whispers. You have conquered the test of fear. Congratulations. Rekel Dorian gets experience. No shit. That's good. Let's take a look at her. No, oh yeah. 52,000. How many XP did she have? I don't know. <coughs> and camp. And save. So we passed the test of fear. That was not too difficult. If they always heal me after doing shit, then I'm pleased. I don't think there's anything here. Where do we go from here? We should return apparently where we came from. There's nothing in here. And we came from that direction. 
Okay. And here we are again where we entered. We don't have to leave right now. Uh, what could we do? We could go to the south. The contorted bodies of a squad of draconians lies here, their faces frozen in terror. An eerie form appears before you. It its translucent form is armored in solemnic plate mail. Only the best of the knights may reach Sir Dargard's resting place. Turn back and take the tests of honor, battle and fear. Only then might you be worthy. Do you turn back? Yes, we only have taken the tests of fear so far. So we should return to the east, I think. No. West, apparently. So that way somehow is blocked to us. You have reached the exit. Do you want to leave? No. So where could we go from here? We could try and go to the west. From nowhere comes, you are entering the test of battle. A knight never refuses to face an evil foe and never flees from battle. Okay. In the distance, metal grates on metal. Oops. So there appears to be a door here. Before we enter there, we shall... Encamp. We shall save. I will not quit yet, but I would like to cast a few spells. For instance, a prayer would be nice. A protection from evil. And that's pretty much it. <coughs> you should cast a bless. And a protection from evil on Randy Spears and on Rekaldorian. And now we are protected and I hope we can survive, so we move through here. A squad of armored skeletons is here, one signals and the roof collapses upon you. Oh wait, that was a trap. Ow. Ow. Shit. You will now attack or flee? We will attack, of course. Apparently that is the test of battle. Aim manual. What do we have here? We have skeletal knights. They have 30 hit points and an armor class of 2. So, you cast a fireball. Oh, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, you should switch your weapons. Since there are skeletons and shit, and not reptiles, you should use the mace. And I think you should actually guard. You should also switch your weapons. A two-handed sword is no good against skeletons. Mace, shield. And you should guard as well. You also have a fireball. You, s you have a flail, that's cool. So you... Oh, you could try to turn them. Ha! That turned. 
Uh, did I waste experience now? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. Yeah, I bought it. No, I will not continue the battle. Boo, zero experience points. Exit. That was not so bad, I think. What is down there? Yeah, we should probably leave this area. Yes. No. We encamp. We fix. 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 Thank you. And you get your magic back. Oh, that was uh, a bonus spell that you will not be getting back so soon. It was unnecessary to turn them. But I wanted to see whether Sylvia Saint actually is able to turn Skeletal Knights. And apparently being a level 6 Magia Cleric, that means being a level mm, 8 regular Cleric, she is able to turn them. That's good. So, you want uh, protection from evil and a prayer. Oh, since we already have a prayer, maybe we take a dispel magic instead. So we rest. Yeah, sure. Exit, save. Oh, really? Rulebook 2, beginning to play. 8. No, that is a new one. God damn it! I already had beginning to play, but then they wanted word 8. And not word 2. Let's see. <coughs> beginning to play... Uh, where is it? There. Word number 2 would be begin. Begin. It's correct. Okay. Nice. We exit. And enter the tomb again. Yeah, sure thing. So, no. We will not leave. We went to the west. Go west. Life is peaceful there. Well, actually not so much. But that's cool. Um, yeah, so now, uh, maybe we should camp and save. Oh, bats. Creatures with no intelligence are not evil, though they may still need to be battled. Do you attack or flee? We attack. What do we have here? A mobat and centipedes. Fine, uh, well, well, what do we do? What do we do? We attack them. Good night. Nothing. Oh, well, wait, um, you still have your maces equipped. That's not really necessary. You're not fi fighting those undead again. Try some sweeping. Well, boom, missed.
No, what do you have? A maze. Can't you attack them? Well, you can attack them, but apparently you can't hit them. That's not nice. One damage. Uh, really? Fine. No. That would be. Ah, come on! I don't really have to use magic on animals. But apparently I do. Yay! <clears throat> oh, there are more of those. Let's see whether you can sweep again. What kind of armor class do you have too? Oh, sucker! Oh, come on, one more hit point. Thank you. Finally. Thanks. Ow. You know what? You cast a stinking cloud here. Uh huh. Look who's talking now. Genevieve Julie saved the day. Boo. Okay, so we encamp, we fix. As you begin to drop off, you are startled awake by horrid nightmares. A tomb is no place for the living to rest. Hmm. Fine. Have it your way. Then I just save. Exit. Moving on. <coughs> so, where are we? Where is north? Where do we want to go? Okay.
Oh shit, a pack of undead dragons form in front of you. Do you attack or do you flee? Since this is a test of battle, we will not flee. A battle begins, no shit. Oof, for fuck's sake. Those are big ones, 40 freaking hit points. Skeletal dragons. So you probably need a mace again. You cast... A bless. You could try to turn them. Nothing happens. Okay, you cast the fireball. You attack it. Oh no, my mistake. You casting your blast, that's cool. You attack it, so uh, yeah. One, two, three. How do you like them apples? You have a lightning bolt, is that correct? Yes, you do. On second thought, aim manual. It may not be necessary. Use the fireball, that should be good. Cast fireball. Oh shit, there's another one here. Oh fuck. Oh, it doesn't matter. One, two, three. Okay, now you move. And now you cast a lightning bolt. Does it come back? No, it doesn't come back. Doesn't matter. Fireball. I wasn't aware that. One, one, two, three. Oh, wait, maybe Genevieve Jolie is too close. No, everything is dandy. Quit. Quit. Ooh, we got a lot of experience. But no loot. You have passed the test of battle. Thank you. Congratulations, Rekordorian gains experience. How much experience did you gain? 57,000. And Randy has 53,000. Okay, she's making progress here. All of a sudden she has... Oh, Sarah White has a lot of experience. But I think the mage has already started with more experience. Okay, um, so we save again. No. Exit. So, well that was that worked quite nicely, I think. Um, so we should leave again. <laughs> so we go up here and out again. So we passed two tests by now. It was not that difficult. And we should leave again. Yeah, you've reached the exit. Do you wanna leave? Yes. No, I do not enter. I will end camp. I will fix and get my shit back. You didn't use it. Of 
course you used it. Fireball and another fireball. And a third fireball, why not? Because, yeah, full moon, bonus spells, very useful. Fireball or lightning bolt? Uh, that's the question here. I think fireball is more useful. And you get <coughs> your bless back. So, what else do we have? Well, of course we could um, save. No, thank you. Exit. Move. And we go in here again. Yes, we enter. So, we have passed the test of fear, the test of battle. One test, I think, remains. Uh, which one would that be? Well, we could go to the north. We haven't been to the north yet. Let's see. A spectral shape appears before you. Ah, that seems, seems to be the last test. You have begun the test of honor. Remember the oath. My honor is my life. I know. I know, I know, I know. Another minion rises from the ground. With your help, we may aid the downtrodden. What will you sacrifice to this goal? Um, I don't want to lose my items. Money is... I, I hope I don't lose the money and the vault. But the money I have on my party I could keep could give away. The gi gift is sufficient, your money disappears. Hopefully not the money from the vault. Or else I would be pissed. Something pokes its head into the room behind but disappears before you can get a good look. We're being followed. So, well, what do we do? We go down here. Before you is a spectral minion flanked by two swords. These swords are only to be used within the test of honor. If you take one, you may only go forward. For now, you may only take the sword on my right. Which sword do you take? Well, we take the one on the right. The party has found treasure. Each character receives zero experience points. What do we take? A long sword plus five, hell yes. That's nice. We exit. And of course we equip it. And you should get your two hundred sword back. Moving on. Something seems to be watching you, but you can't spot it. The spectral form waves his hand. If you appears before you, a man is cornered by a pack of dogs somewhere in the wilderness. The spirit speaks. This man will die without a weapon. He may die even with one. Will you give him the sword we gave you? It's a plus five sword. Yeah, but then again, it can only be used within the test of honor, so take it. The sword appears next to the man and a fight ensues. The view fades before the battle ends. You have passed the test of honor. The shape fades away. That was relatively easy. Congratulations, Rekel Dorian again gets experience and yeah well, but she lost her sword. Well, good thing she has another one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that appears to be another dead end, so we retrace our steps.
and here we are in the central area again. There is this area here. You have entered the treasure rooms. You are ordered to take nothing. That's not much. The room is piled high with pieces of steel and iron. Will someone take any? No. We have been ordered to take nothing. What else do we have? This room is filled with precious gems and golden jewelry. Does anyone take any? No. We are not allowed to take stuff. It's almost like an Ultima 4. Something moved in the corridor outside. Whoa. Okay. Racks of fine weapons line the wall. In the middle of the room are suits of armor. Will you take any? No, I think that still counts as treasure. Where are we now? Oh, I get it. This is the central area again. Fine. Um, so um, we save again. And see whether the ghost lets us through now. The spectral minion allows you to pass. That is good. A voice echoes through the room. What does measure? What does the measure say on duels? Only a knight could answer correctly. So good thing we have a knight. Reckle, what does the measure say? You may pass. That's what the measure says. Another voice speaks. How should a knight act during a council? Reckle, you show great knowledge. You have passed this test. Congratulations, Rekel Dorian gains more experience. 63,000. That is m maybe that's even enough to gain a level. So, well, what else? You have reached the door to the crypt itself. Nothing appears to block your way. Another spectral minion appears before you. I am the spirit of Sir Dargard. Finally, a knight of virtue has reached me. Now receive your charge that I might rest in peace. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 200 experience points. And we take stuff, right? A solemnic plate. A girdle of giant strength. And a long sword. On second thought, um... Let's try something. The Journal of Giant Strength. You trade that to Randy Spears and you trade the Salamnic Plate to Randy Spears. Let's just see whether you actually have to be a knight to use it. Oh, that gives Rekaldorian a strength of 21. Now that is something very nice. Uh, Salamnic plate. Can you equip it? Wear it? Wrong class. No, I guess you can't. Give it back to Reckle then. But you have a long sword. Plus two. <coughs> you don't need your two handed sword anymore. 1d8 plus seven. Hell yes. On sec. Yeah, I think it's cool. I thought about giving that sword to Rekel Dorian. Oh, she has a plate plus one. That would give her an armor class of minus three. And that would give her an armor class of minus five. Hell yes. Then you give that to Randy Spears. Exit, exit, view, armor class of 5, armor class of minus 2, doesn't make a difference, okay, 
then you give the ring to Sylvia Saint. I don't think that we need that anymore. So you could drop it. Like it's hot. Uh, you have an armor class of minus three. If you use that, that would give you armor class of minus four. Very nice. But I think you should give that one to Randy Spears. So you both can have a minus three. And we could take the other Salamnic plates and sell them, but we have enough money and it kind of seems unknightly, not chivalrous, if we take stuff from here that we don't really need. So we exit. Congratulations, Rekordorian gains experience. A sigh passes through the tomb and then all the silent the spectral minions have been laid to rest. You feel healed, we were not hurt. Okay, so I think we can leave now. A party of Draconian bars your way. One steps forward and speaks. We have always failed to reach this sanctum while it was guarded by the ghosts. Thanks to you, we will take the treasure. They attack. Really? What do we have here? Now that's all. A few capex. Oh, a Bozak too. Two actually. Okay, um, so you could... You could yell. People always seem to like that. Damn, this is a long video, but I will finish the tomb. So you cast a fireball. People always seem to like that too. One, two, three. That's not as that's not as good as I hoped it would be. Hmm, you could move a step ahead and cast Oh well, why not? Cast a fireball. What was that? I hope Rekordorian is not an auto combat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's enough. Ow, they explode. And they die. Nobody likes that. Well, looks like we were victorious. Quit. Down, quit. Down, quit. Down, quit. Oh, you're not an auto combat. I like that. What do we get? 80 steel. You don't have any steel, do you? No. But I still want to leave. It's all the same to you. The video has been going on for quite some time. And it would be awesome if you would let me leave. You have reached the exit. Do you want to leave? Yes! No, I don't want to enter the tomb. Let's return to the outpost. We intercepted this message. You will find it interesting. He hands you the message and you record it in journal entry 60, 62. 
62 um, <clears throat> message from assassins the paper reads we have contacted a traitor at the renegades ogre base renegade ogre space we can slip in unobserved and slay the renegade leaders if we are not successful beware our spy tells us that the renegades might try to ally with the forces of good their knowledge of Colonel makes them dangerous a rough map is on the back Ah, oh, there's an ogre base. Sir Colts then speaks. The Salamnic cavalry is already on the march. It will not be too long until these first units have arrived in the area. We must have information on the enemy's strengths and weaknesses soon. The Salamnic forces will be small and an ambush could cause them problems. And there's an ogre base to the northeast of the outpost. You are doing an impressive job. The base is to the northeast, as I said, yes. You could go to the armory, uh, pull the money. How much money do we have? 80. That's not enough. Can we appraise something? You don't have anything. Take it. I want to identify stuff. Um, do we have to identify stuff? Nobody know that the girdle of Gi girdle of giants strengthened the Salamnic plate. No, we don't have to identify it. Okay, that means I will call it a video here, and I will see between the videos whether I, uh, anybody can level up. So well, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.